So Jax Forrest, a high school sophomore, just teched Nathan Tomasello, an NCAA champion and seasoned veteran of the freestyle scene, in a little over a minute. Yikes. About 30 seconds in, Tomasello goes for a random lefty single, though it looks more like a high crotch in motion. You know, it's a normal penetration step, which is weird. It's more of a fake, I guess, but he follows that right up for an underhook. Immediately after doing that, Jax ducks under for a beautiful fireman's carry. Feet to back, that's four points. There's not much you can do about that, honestly, other than having a down block ready with your right arm as you grab your underhook on the left so you can catch a shot if it does happen. 4-0 Forrest. Jax goes for a similar fireman's carry about 45 seconds in, but this time Tomasello was able to react in time, as you'd likely expect. Fool me once, fool me twice kind of thing. Tomasello doesn't jump on the front headlock and secure it though, he kind of just lets it go, which I don't recommend. A front headlock is so strong, you need to use it when you have the opportunity. Jax keeps a piece of that elbow that he just had, goes collar tie with his left arm, looks away, and pulls the arm through for a sweet slide by. This slide by works so well when someone is pressuring into you. You can also do it after you down block. Say you have the right elbow, they shoot a righty high crotch, you down block with your left arm and then pull the elbow through. It's so slick. Jax gets behind, locks near leg and falls to the right to secure his takedown. Two minutes left in the first, Jax reaches with his right arm and so Tomasello dives under it for a nice lefty single. This is one reason why lefty singles work really well, by the way. Righties like to reach with their right hand to get a collar tie, so if you can get comfortable with the lefty single, you can do very well as a wrestler. Jax pulls the situation to the right and forces Tomasello into right high crotch slash crackdown. Notice how he slingshots the shoulders with his hands to the right. It's pretty clear he has done this before. It was done with a lot of intention. Tomasello starts coming up, which would be a great idea if you can get height and face your opponent. It's always better for you. But Jax adjusts his hips back a bit, stabilizes, then gets the crotch lock that he wanted earlier. He keeps his right foot under Tomasello's leg, which stops Tomasello from facing Jax, steps his left foot around the leg, sits and throws Tomasello for an impressive four points feet to back, securing the 10-0 tech fall. Wow. This is just absurd. Every situation Jax got into, he was able to find the best move to use immediately after. That's kind of obvious, I guess, but it's really difficult to do a match review on someone who gets something correct at every step. This match was honestly textbook for Jax. I don't have anything else to say. That was sick.